Let's play a game called Count the Clicks. I want to change this Mark Tests item so that the status is completed and set the completion date to today's date. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wonder if there's a faster way to do that. Now, what if I told you that I can do that all with the click of one button right here. To create a new custom action, first open up your list ribbon, then go to the item custom actions button under your Quizcom action settings. Once you're here, go ahead and name a button. We're going to call ours close item. And we'll click add. Now let's set up a condition where this button will only show up if the item is not completed. So we'll go to status, we'll select does not equal completed, and add the condition. We're also going to edit the list item, so let's choose the values we want to edit. We're going to change the status column to equal completed, and we'll hit add. And we'll change the completion date to be today's date and click Add. We're also going to make sure that once you click the button, it'll redirect you back to your list view. So we're going to type in the view we want, all items, scroll down, and click OK. Now we go back to our list, and let's click on the Mark Test item again. We'll click on Close Item, and there we go. That's it, two clicks. Now if you'll notice, if we go back into our item, you no longer see the button because of the condition. The item's already been completed, so there's no need for the button anymore.